Master Your Mindset Radio, episode 48. Welcome to Master Your Mindset Radio, the show where we empower you to conquer limiting beliefs and transform your world with your gifting and purpose. Now for your host, Elizabeth Nader. Hello, friends. Welcome back to another episode. I want to remind you before we get into today's content that my registration for the Flatten Your Fear online summit is now live. So go to flattenyourfear.com and all you need to do is put in your email address and you can be part of this free summit. I have 22 amazing speakers, mentors. They are thought leaders from all different walks of life. Uh, Lots of names you'll recognize, published authors, coaches from the entertainment world, the sports community. Each one is more unique than the next, and I love these interviews. They're all about sharing how they have gotten past their own fears or how they deal with their own fears and obstacles that held them back from the life that they were designed to lead. And it's really to help you do the same. So make sure you don't miss out on this. Go to flattenyourfear.com right now and register. Starting August 1st, I will send you one video via your email per day for you to enjoy. They're 30 minutes long and they're just really fascinating. So I didn't want you guys to miss out on that. I will keep repeating it, but make sure that you participate in Flatten Your Fear at flattenyourfear.com. All right, so we're going to talk today about um, being overwhelmed and why that signals opportunity. Right now, everyone remains sort of in the state of overwhelm. I mean, it's information overwhelm, it's fear overwhelm, it's unknown overwhelm. Everyone right now is still, unless they're really trying to deal with their mindset and stay away from too much news, too much information, there really is a lot of struggle out there with feeling overwhelmed. We don't have a lot of answers yet on how we are moving forward in various parts of this country, and we certainly feel, continue to feel out of control. So how do we look at this situation appropriately? I think there was a lot of talk during the initial shutdown on how we could turn this into an opportunity, and I think some people did that. But now that it's gone on as long as it has, I think it's worthwhile to step back and once again decide how we choose to look at the challenges ahead of us, how we choose to look at the feeling of being overwhelmed and what we want to do with that. So I wanna share with you something I wrote, a blog post that I wrote as a guest on Chelsea Cross website. She is a marketing and business coach and she asked me to uh, contribute a blog on why being overwhelmed signals opportunity. So I wrote this several months ago during the pandemic, uh, or I should say we're still in it, I guess, but during the initial stages of the shutdown. And I wanna share the ideas in it with you today because I think that someone will be helped by this and I feel it like it's a good encouragement, a good shot in the arm for how we need to face the feeling of being overwhelmed and being challenged. I like to look towards the military for an approach to this. I'm inspired by the military life. I really am. I'm inspired by the military mindset. Now to some of you, you may not be able to relate to that you may see that as that mindset or that lifestyle as a draconian and harsh, but the truth is they figured something out. The truth is when you really think about how, how our military is trained, you immediately get a sense of safety and a sense of calm and a sense of like these guys and these girls have this figured out, right? It's like they know what they're doing. At least that's how I feel about the military. And yet it's probably one of the most challenging careers you can ever choose, especially if you're going to be you know, directly in combat. It's one of the most challenging ways to live your life mentally, physically, in every way. But it inspires me because I think the ones who do it really well are the ones who understand that they have to overcome fear. They have to overcome limiting beliefs. They have to overcome the feelings of being overwhelmed. And I just want to dig into that way of looking at things, a military mindset a little bit, to give you some gems for how you can overcome and see opportunity in the things that 
overwhelm you. So when you look at the culture and the training in the military, they see every challenge as one to conquer. They don't shy away from challenges. They see every challenge as one to conquer and they see every enemy as one to defeat. Now, we don't tend to do that in life. We have the habit many times of sh- you know, shrinking away from something that is coming against us, either with fear or with just sometimes laziness or just lack of action. We tend to want to avoid our enemies. And when I say enemy, I'm not talking about a person in this case. I'm talking about something that we need to overcome, something that's threatening to make us stand still or threatening to take us backwards. We have a tendency to find the reasons and find the excuses to avoid it. But the military mindset is that every challenge is one to conquer and every enemy is one to defeat. So what they don't do is take on a survivalist mentality. But we tend to do that. We definitely, at times, will say, you know what? It's enough if I just survive. And I get that. Believe me, I've been in difficult situations in life, darker times in life where you really just, to survive is enough. But is it really enough? I mean, is it enough for you to just stand still and say, you know what? If that is success, survival is success. But is it? Is it really success? The, in the military, there is no accepted survival mentality. Every challenge, every challenge is seen as an opportunity to show strength, to gain ground, to achieve victory, every one of them. They don't have the language that says standing still and staying stay, safe is okay. Now, having said that, you know we assume they're making wise decisions, right? We'll talk about that in a minute. They have layers of people making decisions and using data and using information and technology to make good decision decisions. But they're not accepting standing still just for the sake of standing still. A well-trained, a moral military, they're not looking for a fight, but they're not going to back down from a fight either. They are always looking to advance. We should always look to advance in our life. But guess what? what? Without a war, You can't gain ground. So we need to embrace the fact that we have to fight some wars in our life in order to advance, right? In order to gain ground. So if you see yourself as a soldier in your life and you're facing this challenge that's overwhelming you, it's taunting you, it's saying, come on, see if you can beat me, what will your response be? Will you decide to go on the war path? Will you shake off that sometimes innate passive desire to just survive and instead go on the offensive? Seek to gain ground. I think what you really need to understand here is that the key to all of this is it is your choice. You make the choice of how you want to respond to that which is facing you. Another thing that military training instills deeply into its subjects is moving forward boldly into what is commanded without needing the full picture. And in fact, without asking questions, what does the military do? How do they respond? They say, yes, sir, yes, ma'am. That is the accepted response to instructions. That is the accepted response to what they are told to do. And they are expected to fully comply. If that culture did not exist, if the answer wasn't, yes, sir, disaster eventually would would ensue. Failure would be certain. No military can succeed without the mentality that they absolutely carry out their orders without questioning them, without asking questions, and without challenging them and without having the full picture. They are one cog in a very big wheel. They just need to do what they're told and their mentality is to do that. This is like advancement without information, right? They're seeking to advance. Advancement without the full information, without the full picture, that requires courage and perseverance. 
And this is true in our lives. We rarely have all the answers. And we really will never fully comprehend the larger plan. So the question is, are you willing to press forward against what is overwhelming and threatening you without the full picture? Without being certain of what tomorrow holds, without having all of your questions answered, without having all the details? Those who choose to make a habit of that in life understand that victory is reserved for those willing to be bold enough to face their challenges with what you have today, with the tools you have right now, not waiting to be in the perfect position to do so. You have to advance with what you have, with the information you have. You have to step out in faith. You have to face fear. And you have to continue to look to advance against those challenges coming against you without having the full picture. Sometimes when you feel overwhelmed, the urgent can obscure the important. And this is something to remember. You want to make sure that if you only deal with the urgent, you understand you'll always be on the defensive. You'll never be on the offensive. So be careful when you're feeling overwhelmed that the urgent doesn't obscure the important. You need to address what is important, which will open the door for you to be on the offensive and to gain ground. Yes, the urgent will call to you loudly. It wants your attention, but if you only respond to that voice, then you're only defending your position. But growth, movement, gain, all of that, that all comes when you prioritize the important over the urgent. The military always has the important, the long-term goal, the big focus, right? The campaign is important. There are urgent things that come up, but they always focus on the important. They always prioritize the important over the urgent. Deal with the urgent, but make sure it doesn't drown out the important. Find other people to handle the urgent. Stay on your mission. Do not lose ground. Deal with it, but get your eyes very quickly back on what is important and on your advancement. So do you choose to see the challenges in front of you as an opportunity? Or do you think it's signaling you're in an inevitable defeat? As you face crisis, as anyone faces crisis, there will be those who rise up turn into it, turn into the bitter wind of that, of the challenge that's before them, and there are those who will stand still and even those who will run from it. Which one will you be? Can you see yourself as a soldier, trained to say yes, sir, trained to gain ground, trained to move against the enemy that, that, that you're facing, trained to only see advancement as your goal, Train not to stand still. Train to do it in spite of your fears. Can you see yourself that way in your own life? It is your choice. It is your choice to change your mindset, to move against the challenges, to persevere. This is your choice. Maybe what's happening to you is not your choice. Certainly right now we feel out of control and, and things are happening to us that we had no hand in but how you respond is completely within your control. The response that you have, the path that you take, that's on you. No one else can make that choice for you but you. So when you deal with the challenges correctly, you will see yourself, yourself lifted up. You will feel stronger. It's all about how you see the challenge. So next time you feel overwhelmed, Will you see it as an opportunity to break through to another level in whatever it is, in your career, your business, your personal life, habits, whatever it is? Can you choose to embrace that challenge? Can you choose to let it advance you? Choose to gain ground and choose to win your war. I want to leave you with this. Every challenge has within it the seed of greater success. So be grateful for each challenge and see it as an opportunity.
Have a great week, guys. Thank you for listening to Master Your Mindset Radio. Before you go, if you want to be part of a free online community of like-minded individuals for support, resources, and inspiration as you conquer your limiting beliefs and pursue your purpose, go to elizabethnader.com slash community. That's elizabethnader.com slash community. Or search for Master Your Mindset Academy private group on Facebook. Looking forward to seeing you online.